Okay, I've got the 125, Solo Pro 125 here. You can see uh, there is no light turned on now on the uh, transmitter, but it is bound to the transmitter. Uh, I'm going to show you here uh, the cyclic movement. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the light just went on. Okay. The elevator. And now if you look, it looks like it's got a 6-axis implement implementation on this because the swash plate when you tilt the helicopter is definitely moving See, forward and backward as I tilt the heli. Now let me try and push this little button. There's a little button on it. There's no 6-axis or 3-axis switch, but there's a button. There's a button you can push right here. It does turn off the little LED light now. I'm not sure what it's doing. Oh, the light just came back on. Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure. But it appears to me like uh, one mode is just three axis gyro and the other mode is six axis there's not as much swash movement now on this I'm going to uh, push the button one more time okay so I just pushed this little button on here right here and then I just fired up again let me see if I can notice a difference interesting so I don't have a manual at this point this is just a sample my friend Mr. Lin has in the shop um, so we're not exactly sure what the button is for at this point it does seem to me like there might be a six axis implementation it's actually a pre-production model here's the box it came in and it's basically just a white box um, so it's a sample Mr. Lin has got to test and promote the heli Looks like there's uh, some instruction is in here as well. I will have a look at that. There's the manual, instruction manual. So I will look, have a look at the manual and see if we can figure something out about the little switch on the receiver. So that's that.